My potato patch is a hot mess because I've been neglecting it for the past month and a half. And this is the result of what happens when you let your garden go because of mental health issues. But then again, it's all good. Mental health may have won the battle, but it will not win the war. So in this video, we're gonna be hooking up this potato patch. I'm gonna get the two dogs to be digging up the rest of my potatoes. And then we're gonna be hooking this up for the fall time because I'm gonna be planting something else later on. Let's go. What's going on my plant peoples? I am the ADHD gardener where I use gardening house plants and humor as a much needed form of mental health therapy this year because I really need it. And as you can see here, my potato patch or lack thereof because I left everything to die. Then, you know, it's been neglected a little bit, but that's okay because I know that there's potatoes inside of this ground. As you saw from the previous video, me and my dad planted a lot of potatoes in this garden patch, but do you see any plants here? No, that's because I let them all die and just right along with my feelings. Yeah. It doesn't matter if your garden died because you're just not feeling too hot. You know what I mean? You're just not feeling that well mentally or physically and your garden dies. It's okay. It is not the end of the world because we can definitely plant all over again. And that means we can just start all over again from scratch. And that also means we're going to be getting my dogs to be digging some holes and getting those potatoes out of the ground. That's right there. I already peeled those potatoes up, so I'm not worried about that. This row still has a lot of them in there. This row has a lot of them in there. This one, I started to, while well, the dogs started to kick it up, but I noticed that the dogs were just kicking up way too much dirt all over the place. So I figured I was just gonna let all this die off, and then I just basically forgot about it. So now I gotta like pick them up out of the ground, but I'm gonna use the dogs. After cleaning up a little bit, I'm picking up all the irrigation so my dogs don't accidentally chew it or break the line. If you've been following me, well, you know that I have two dogs, but you primarily see one dog, and his name is Chip which is right here. He is not much of a digger. Peanut's the one that digs, so she's ready to rock and roll. I'm still trying to get him to start digging. He has been watching her dig, so I see that he's trying to get the concept of it, but man, he's a herder of my chickens. He's not much of a, you know, a digging dog. You know what, while I'm at it, I might as well show you guys how you can train your dogs to start digging your potatoes up. And basically the first thing we're gonna start with is a shovel and your dogs. That's the only thing you're gonna need. You're gonna grab your shovel and then you're gonna say this word repeatedly, dig, dig, right? You're gonna be saying dig. Let me get out of the way. You're gonna be saying dig and you're gonna be faking digging or even just doing a little light digging and that is gonna trigger your dogs to start, you know, start getting the picture. Sometimes I even put my hands inside of the soil and dig and I keep repeating the word, dig, dig, dig. Come on, dig, 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 yeah, yeah, come on, dig. Yes, yes, good dog, Peanut. Go ahead, Peanut. Oh, that's Chip. Chip is learning how to dig. Good boy. Yes. All right, thank you. Dig, dig, dig. Oh, wait, I see a potato. Oh, that's a little one. Look how little that is. Nope, come on, keep digging. You're gonna get rewarded with a good snack later. I told you he wasn't. No! Don't eat my potato! No! If you own dogs, oh, you'll know if you have a breed of dog that loves to dig. Because, man, you'll have a bunch of holes all up in your backyard. That is a natural trait for certain breeds of dogs. I mean, this can be trained into other dogs, but as you can see, Chip, who is not a digging breed, he has a little bit of a hard time trying to get the concept. I'm very excited because I really didn't think I was going to find a lot of potatoes, but this is just the beginning of it. Tina, on the other hand, she loves to dig. She's part boxer, part hound, and part something else. And that dog loves to dig, so I just took advantage of what she normally would have done anyway. If you pay attention to your dogs, you'll definitely notice some digging happening that normally would not show up in that breed. That is due to boredom. When dogs are extremely bored or they're pent up with energy, they all dig. It's just a way to release a lot of energy. So if you want to put your dogs to work to release that energy, you let them dig up your potatoes. You can even get your dogs to yank up some old roots. And this is a tree root or a shrub root. Pull, 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 pull. Mm -hmm. They're going to dig and they're going to bite onto it. If you, There you go. Good boy. There you go. If your dog already knows how to play tug, you know, like tug of war and stuff, you can do the same thing with a root. All you got to do is just kind of associate the same thing. Pull. Pull. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. This one will pull. Pull. Yes. 
Good girl. Pull them roots out. Thank you. And then they play with it as a toy. <laughs> Look how, oh, good job. See? So whenever you see like maybe some hard roots, pull. Pull. Yeah. Pull that out. Pull. Yeah. Good girl. Yeah, pull. Yeah. Dig, dig, dig. Dig and pull are going to be your two words that you're going to use all the time. Dig and pull. And of course, stop. So your dog needs to know like how to stop. There you go. Yeah. You pull that. Pull. Pull. Yes. Pull, pull, pull. Pull. Oh, thank you. Oh, potato. Hey, drop the potato. No, no, no. Drop it. Oh, look. She found some more. Good job. Good job. I mean, this is a form of tilling, if you think about it, because we are disturbing the soil. But in a way, I mean, you're going to have to do what you got to do, if, you know, to get those potatoes out. If you can't dig, then you're going to do this. If you have someone, then let them dig them up. Sound good? Eh, you don't give a rat's ass. <laughs> you don't care. You don't. Well, this is the amount of potatoes I had. Mind you, this is the third time I was grabbing potatoes. One from another section one from another time and this is the remaining potatoes that were left in the ground it doesn't sound like it doesn't look like much actually i think this weighs about 10 pounds by itself the other time i wound up grabbing at least half of that and then another time i wound up grabbing at least half of that so total it could have been at least about your tail buddy it, this could have been at least like 30 pounds worth of potatoes altogether. I'm not really sure, being that I kind of uh, grabbed them at all different times. I can't really tell how much it was altogether, but I wound up getting some good varieties. I have some red potatoes, not many russets. The russets didn't work out that well. I wound up getting a lot of purple potatoes though. Like this one was pretty cool. Like, I mean, this one I actually split. My bad, oops. But, you know, some of them are still good. This is a red one though. I could save a lot of these as seed potatoes for the future, but not, you know, I'm really not going to do that. I'm just going to just eat them periodically as I can. Maybe I'll do a separate video in the future about how to store them and whatnot because a lot of them have not been stored because I've been eating them. So one day, but at least I found some of these. As you can see, days later, it looks a lot better. I know that Jose has to come back and finish raking this up and, you know, evening it out. Um, he also put up some boards right there so I can have a defined walkway because I'm trying to get more organized and this is what was needed because then I can in the future cover these walkways with the wood chips and all that. But that's for future videos. Stay tuned for, stay tuned for the future video of what to do when you have a plot like this in preparation for the fall time. I'm going to be using cover crops but that's for another video and I'm going to do that also over here in the corn section. So stay tuned for that upcoming video because that is exactly how we're gonna be amending large plots of land like this. So gonna try and experiment with the cover crops with containers because let's say you don't have a whole plot of land. Could we use that cover crop in containers so we can hook up the soil that's already in existence there? We shall find out. Stay tuned for that video. Oh, you're gonna roll in doors. Oh my gosh, he's rolling in soil. Oh gosh, guys. Oh boy. Chippy pissing her off. She's like, please play with me, please play with me. And meanwhile, she don't give a rat's ass about what's going on. She don't give a rip. That's because you probably got soil in your eyes. You don't even care. What are you doing? You did a good job. You did a good job digging. Yes, you did. Yes, you did. If you liked this video, then don't forget to smash this like button. I really appreciate it, and it would definitely help out my moods. Don't forget to catch me on Facebook and Instagram. I'm on there all the time. And last but not least, oh, I do live stream. Until the next episode, you guys, where you and me both are going to be growing our happiness, one plant at a time, one potato at a time. I'll check y'all later. Peace and love.